How can we watch out for temptations effectively? How can we fight the sin? Jesus tells us the answer. Let's look at it together. Hi, I'm Simon and on this channel I want to help you growing in your relationship with Jesus. I want to demonstrate you the importance of watching out with a game which we are playing in our youth group. This game everyone gets a cup which he is placing on the floor. Then two softballs are joining the game. And your goal is to kick down the cups from the other players with the softball while protecting your own cup. In this game you have to watch out constantly for the two softballs and the other players that no one is kicking down your cup. But how are you watching out in your own life? Do you take the warning serious which we get in our lives? For example when your parents warn you that it is cold outside and you should wear warm clothes, do you follow these warnings? Or when your parents say that you should be better learning now because you got an important exam. Do you follow these warnings or do you don't follow them? I mean it's often really hard to follow the warnings because sometimes we don't follow the warnings but then it can be that our parents for example were right and our cup falls. We didn't take the warning serious and the Bible also warns us for instance about alcohol Lying, stealing, sex before the marriage, thinking bad about someone. Are we taking these warnings serious? Are we careful about these warnings? Or are we not careful and don't take these warnings serious? I want to read with you how Jesus reacted to warnings and how he reacted to sorrow. And he said to them, my soul is very sorrowful, even to death, remain here and watch. And going a little farther, he fell on the ground and prayed that if it were possible, the hour might pass from him. And he said, Abba, Father, all things are possible for you. Remove this cup from me. Yet not what I will, but what you will. We are in the Garden Gethsemane. Jesus is sorrowful, prays to his Father, and lays his situation in the Father's hands. And he says to the disciples, that they should watch with him. But that means we see in a bed. But later, Jesus is coming back and found them sleeping. And he said to Peter, Simon, are you asleep? Could you not watch one hour? Watch and pray that you may not enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. The disciples were sleeping. They did not succeed watching out with Jesus. The same that happened to us when we played the game with the cups. We did not succeed at watching out for our own cup and it failed. And this is also the key verse for us. We should be watching out and praying because otherwise we will enter temptation. Or in other words, watch out and talk to your father. But when should we watch out? Is there even a situation when we should not watch out? Because there are always dangerous situations. When you hear people slander, or you get the opportunity to steal and you get tempted, there are always situations which are dangerous for you. So be aware of these situations, but how can we tackle them? Jesus says, watch out and pray. So we should be aware of these situations, we should watch out for these situations, and we should pray, we should pray to God. So what is praying to you? Is it just a ritual? Like praying before going to sleep, praying before dinner? Or is it like talking to an untouchable person? Like talking to your boss or to your teacher? For me, it was a long time just a ritual. Just a ritual which you do before going to sleep or before eating. But then I let God more and more into my life and the praying got more personal. 
You can achieve this when you pray every time you look into your smartphone. You don't have to pray a lot. You don't have to pray a fancy prayer. Just talk with him about things that are in your mind. Or situations where it's dangerous, where you know this situation can come, then pray with your father about this situation. That you don't fall into temptation and sin. Father, I wanna pray that you help us see in our sin, see in our dangerous situations. I wanna pray that. Yeah, we can watch out and pray. I wanna pray that you help us that we don't pray only before then or only for good and bad. We pray every time in our daily lives that we just talk to you. We live so in a closely relationship with you. Father, please help us achieving this. You know how hard it is. You were on the earth and felt the separation from the Father. I want to pray that. You give us the strength and you give us the motivation that we do this, that we talk to you in our daily lives. Amen.